Hello, my name is Chris and I'm the community development worker at Belong Blue Mountains. Um, part of Belong Blue Mountains purpose is to ensure that the community is informed and up to date on uh, information and services that they might need. Um, so we've introduced this, uh, this little section that we're calling Five Minutes With and it's where we grab a few moments uh, with someone uh, from a local service um, to find out a little bit more about what they do and how they can help. So I'm here today with Isaac, who is from Headspace, who are soon opening up a service in Katoomba. So thank you for taking the time to join us today, Isaac. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Um, so just to, to begin, um, how would you describe what it is that Headspace does? Um, Headspace essentially is a health service available for youth aged 12 to 25 years old. Um, what health means in this particular sense is Headspace provides um, tremendous assistance when it comes to mental health, um, but being more specific towards Katoomba, it's also going to provide assistance with um, any drug and alcohol use and also work and study support. But I think um, within community circles, Headspace is best known for their work around mental health for young people. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, and uh, if, I guess... Um, if, if someone is someone who might be concerned about a young person with a, with a mental health issue or um, like a friend or a family member or even a young person themselves, um, how in, in your experience do young people experience mental health issues? What are sort of the sorts of things to look out for? Um, there, there's so many different things which, which a young person can go through and it's compounded by so many different factors. I think the biggest thing to look for within young people to, to check on their well-being and seeing if they're okay is just comparing them to, to what you think they'd normally be like. Um, I know it's hard to, to get a, a normal out of young people sometimes, but um, you know, if you know a young person is a certain way and then you notice they start acting different, you notice there's, there's changes in mood, you notice they're not as engaged with you when you have conversations with them, or they're not maybe as willing to go out and hang out with people, things like that. Um, would probably be a, a first sign in checking to see if they're okay at the very least. Okay, and um, and can can someone who's worried contact Headspace for information? Yeah, how does that work? Most most certainly. So there's a range of platforms which someone could get in touch with Headspace. The first of which would be um, our website, headspace.org.au. So that website has a bunch of different information around uh, mental health, the different types of mental health issues that there are available. Um, so anyone can educate themselves potentially on what a young person might be going through. Um, you can also get in contact with us by a phone. Um, so there's a 1-800 number that's going to be set up for the Katoomba uh, site soon. I'll pass those details on to you. Um, or you could just get in contact with your local Headspace Centre. And for a young person, that's as easy as walking in any time. You know, once a person steps foot through the, the Headspace doors and they're asking for assistance, um, essentially the Headspace staff will kind of drop everything and make sure that they attend to that young person. And is your, is your service confidential and things like that? Like, yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a free service and it's also a confidential service. So yeah. any young person that presents, um, their information will not be shared to anyone in the community unless there is a uh, potential risk. Okay, great. Um, and you're opening a site in Katoomba. Um, so what sorts of things, as well as the, dro the drop-in that you mentioned, anyone can come in, what, what other sorts of things are going to be happening from that site? Um, it's, it's early days, but we definitely have a, um, an event planned in the works once the whole COVID situation blows over to celebrate and commemorate the opening of the site. Um, so what that will do is, first of all, create awareness that Headspace is in Katoomba and also invite members of the community, whether young, middle-aged, old, to see what Headspace is all about and the type of support we can offer. Um, as mentioned, when it does come to support, mental health is going to be a huge, huge, huge factor in what we're looking to support, but also uh, work and study and drug and alcohol use too. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, coming out of COVID? I think that um, that maybe maybe um, mental health is going to be uh, more understood in the community coming out of something like COVID because people would have been through maybe some of the things that um, that usually usually we think that other people experience mental health issues but often um, I think there's a 
a continuum with what we generally experience every day that is that is um that, yeah that's going to be um uh, i think yeah i think covid has has put a um a spotlight on certain factors when it does come to mental health and, and none of that is a bad thing it's all positive mm. i think it's made uh people more proactive when it comes to seeking help for their mental health which is what the community need to see you know that it is okay to go out and get support for your mental health just uh, as a side note um while we have been setting up katoomba we have uh, been referencing young people from the community so we formed a, a subgroup with about seven or eight people who represent the or seven or eight young people who represent the katoomba community so while we're setting up the site we're in liaison with them um, asking them what they would like to see headspace uh, provide to the katoomba community Okay, excellent. And um, just just a, a final thing, just just to reiterate, how how would someone get in touch with you at Headspace? Um, any form, any digital platform. So it can even be through social media. Um, you can call us. You can reach out through our website, or easiest one of all, you can just drop into to one of our centres. Um, if you're not a young person presenting, but you do have concerns about a young person, you can um, be a referral. And again, it's the same thing that can be done over the phone. That can be done um, through our website or you can get in touch with, with one of our officers on site and let them know the details of the young person. Okay. Thank you very much for, um, for that information. That's wonderful information. Um, and best of luck with, um, with uh, proceeding with the, uh, with the Katoomba Headspace. We're all very excited about it. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having a chat. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye.